very nice. They actually lasted an Amtrak service for several more years. Oh my, didn't see you come in there. Hi everyone, this is Jordan Smith from Rapido Trains Inc. And I'm here to talk about a project we just announced in July and something I'm very excited about in particular. It's our all new HO scale uh, Southern Pacific Dome Lounge or the three quarter dome as many rail fans like to call them. Southern Pacific created the dome lounges in 1954 by rebuilding existing cars. These were pre-war uh, lounge cars and observation cars and took a kit manufactured by Bud for the dome area and dropped them on top of the rebuilt bodies. These created what effectively was a three-quarter dome lounge where three-quarters of the car was upper level seating and the lower area was a bar lounge. Once placed in service, these cars could be seen on several of SP's uh, kind of flagship operations, the San Joaquins, the Daylight Trains, and the Overland as well, which was a joint operation with the Union Pacific. After Amtrak uh, came around in 1971, several of the cars were first leased by Amtrak and then bought out by Amtrak in 72-73, uh, where they remained in service uh, for several more years. In fact, most of the cars are, are still around, uh, with a couple of them in service today. One went to the Panama Canal Railway, where it operates. Uh, Canadian Pacific bought uh, one of the cars as well, and they're using it today on their uh, business train of Royal Canadian Pacific. As you can see, we haven't cut any corners when it came to the detailing for each of our Southern Pacific Dome Lounge cars. Some of the key features include two distinct underbodies, two distinct interior arrangements, as per prototype. For the upper terrace deck, we have either the coach-style overland seating or the Shasta-style lounge seating. We also have two distinct exterior bodies. Originally as built, these cars had fluted sides, which were later removed in the early 1960s to give a more flat-sided look to the cars. Other details of these cars include separately applied grab irons and handrails, magnetic knuckle couplers, free rolling trucks, accurate for the SP, windows will have the correct tinting, and much more. Looking again at the interiors, you can see how much detail we've added to these cars, from the drink and cigarette stands, and even the patterns on the wall. Southern Pacific actually did every one of their dome lounges a little bit differently with the leaf pattern on the bulkhead, and we're looking at doing that in our cars as well. And, in addition, we'll also have full lighting mounted in the roof where it actually was on the real cars. This is track-powered SMD lights, and we think this will look spectacular on your layout. Looking at the paint schemes of the first release, we have the fluted cars featuring SP's daylight paint scheme, the SP Overland paint scheme, and the general service scheme. For the flat-sided cars, we have SP in general service, and two versions of Amtrak Phase 1, and also a later version of Amtrak Phase 1, where they actually plated it over or painted out some of the dome windows. Presumably this was to save on air conditioning costs. Also of note, we've included in this release the Canadian Pacific's excursion car, number 3605, known as Selkirk now. Completely rebuilt from the ground up and entering service in 2019, this car is now a distinctive addition to CP's business train fleet. So thanks for joining me at this quick look at our all-new HO Scale Southern Pacific three-quarter dome lounge. Now, this is a conditional project. SP is a, obviously, it's a huge railroad, lots of fans out there, but the boss thinks, you know, everyone models the Kingston sub in via 1980. So we have to prove to him that uh, the SP is as popular as we know it is. So order by the October 16th, 2023 order deadline, and uh, we will see how the numbers are at that point and get them uh, get further into development and into tooling. And of course, we also have a 5% early bird discount that uh, applies to any orders placed up until the 16th of October. After that date, the, uh, we'll continue to take orders on these models, but that 5% early bird discount will go away. So let's uh, get those orders in and who knows, maybe we'll have some more SP passenger cars coming in the future if this, uh, if this model is successful. Thanks once again for joining me. We will see you in the next Rapido video. Oh, so much interesting stuff to do. Oh, they even went into Amtrak service. You're going to text! 
gosh, I really hope people order these cars. I mean, look how glamorous they are. What a throwback to the 50s in L.A. On my way to a movie premiere with Katherine Hepburn to my right and Spencer Tracy to my left and drinking champagne the whole way.